largest portion of your income goes to housing and you lose control of how much it increases when you are at the mercy of the landlord. And so you don't want to be a renter for the next 30 years because that's going to, you know, it's going to increase versus if you bought that condo, you know, you've, you've locked in what it costs you, not counting the HOA fees, but you've locked in your cost per month for the next 30 years. And so I'm moving in some way towards one of these condos and, and some method figuring out how I'm going to get there and what have I got to do to cause that to happen because that's a better long-term play for you. We also know that the folks that reach, you know, that reach a million-dollar net worth, the vast majority of them, well over 80% of them, the primary source of their wealth is two things, their retirement plans and their paid-for house. 